the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, nil-nil. And the second half gets on the way. The United States, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? And it's got through. Lovely feet. Pulisic, and it's played forward, he's through the middle, now it's Sané, Sané, real chance, and the ball's come out, Good clearance and very necessary, the United States have it back and they can go again, chances to talk off Jim defenses it seems on top here well I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defenses have been strong Germany really are defending from the front they are and this type of pressing is a, a case of counter-attacking a counter-attack it's high octane and high pressure high fitness Played out to the right. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Here it comes. And it's hoisted clear. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling and fast. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, the referee's seen the board, and he's going to allow a double change to go ahead now. The great gallop down the right hand side. <laughs> There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet.